small children, and any time that you have the opportunity to see the president or even meet the president, it's a historical moment for our family. So by all means, we would make it out here. This will bring enough attention to get somebody down here to do some work. <laughs> I think it's excellent that we're celebrating the progress, but I'd like for him to see the areas that still need help. Still need improvement the blighted areas in the Lower Ninth Ward. I'd like for him to go through the actual neighborhood. I have my home here on North Claiborne, but the property since that's next door to me since I've been here is still abandoned, still looks distraught, and those are the areas that really need to focus on. Ten feet of four and a lot of shotguns. A lot of shotguns. It speaks volumes because our city was strengthened by his presence. Most certainly. Five years ago, we were more empowered. We became more interested in our community just for the expectations of the president coming back. So, and just to whoop. feel like he yeah. showed interest in this area, it really means a lot. It really yes. does. We're on our way back, people, and it's going to be better this time around. I just want to appreciate the fact that he does continue to come back to this city and just show continued interest in the people and the community because, you know, no one wants to be forgotten about. No city wants to have a devastation and then just be considered a forgotten about city. So I feel like positive things are happening for this city. I hope he sees the progress that we've made and the amount of opportunity that we have in this city now as a result of good decisions that were made back then. I think it is. Uh, regardless, I think it shows that not only the president, but the rest of the nation is kind of looking at New Orleans and saying, okay, we know what happened 10 years ago, and it was awful, and you saw it all over CNN, but now they're looking 10 years later, and hopefully it's a positive light that we get cast in.